So I just thought I'd jump back on the stream uh, because we finished off with completely messed up uh, normals. And I couldn't work out why because our little function that we looked at looked okay. Um, and it turned out it was very simple. When we were throwing this in, in the, um, let's have a look, in the March cell stuff in edge to boundary vertex. Oh, the indentations are weird there. Um, when we generated the normals, we were passing in v0, uh, or vpos0 here, uh, which is one, yeah, which is one of the non-adjusted vertices. And so, yeah, basically we were, we were generating the normals for the wrong position. Um, and that's why all of them looked off. And so as soon as, like, if I, if I, let's just reproduce it. Let's do it so we can see it. Um, if I do reset, we can see our problem. And then if we go back to the actual vert that we were pushing into here and generate the normals for that position, all of a sudden, magically, everything looks okay. So, um, yeah, that's cool. And then, of course, if we do something fun, like go down to our uh, circle function. And let's mess with this some more. Um, so y times um, cos of z. Um, v3 point. Uh, times 20 we get some really bizarre things going on all bulges and weird shapes all over this thing but yeah anyway proof is that we can generate an implicit surface we get up the resolution even um where is that? No, let's not let's not worry about that right now. It's, it was the end of the stream a few minutes ago. Let's stop worrying. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Peace.